first okay now we go now there we go now we're recording so yeah we're back welcome back to the stub toe zoo <laughs> so it's expanded quite a bit since you've seen it okay uh, so we have like an actual zoo entrance now it's nice it's nice yeah. um, can you put up like decorations like could you put up like antlers next to it or something uh like to the front of the zoo there's no like antler item oh uh, okay there's, i was just thinking like there's like a, i think of arctic stuff there's pronghorn horns like giant ones what do you think i never use this item so sure <laughs> figure out a way to put it uh, in. there and then the mirror. That, that's our that's our next goal is to use every item. Why are they so different? Are they not like? Are they like isomers? They're not like. They're not exactly mirrored. So that's <laughs> that'll be it. Uh, good enough for me. That's good. That's exactly what I wanted. Yes, yeah, so you can see I decorated all the. I like the. Uh, I like the decor with the penguins on the, uh, like on the fence there. Yeah, it's a good idea. Good idea. And then added some rocks around the side and some trees and decorated the little behind the scenes staff area. Uh, that building. So how are how are the penguins themselves doing? Uh, they're good. They're reproducing. We got some. Oh. Did you, did you banish your penguin from having? A, oh, it's a baby. Uh, no, the, the one named Liam had a, had an offspring. Wait, do you also get to name the babies or do they just get? They just get randomly assigned names too. Like we could rename them. Oh, that's okay. Layla. Abigail. Great name for a penguin. Uh, well, yeah. Sweet. Cool. And that building there is going to be reserved for Miles. It, he said he's interested in adding something, and you can probably guess what it's going to be, but we just haven't had time uh, for it. Circus ants. Uh, then we that, have... That looks like it'd be circus ants. Made a little indoor food court area for the guests to escape nice. the cold and have a display advertising. Hip shot water. Is that literally just gulpy? <laughs> we got gulpy energy, gulpy soda. Uh... You got cheese like beef, dog squad, and then and then the pizza pen. Yeah, you don't get the like. That's just what the hot dog food stores call. I love it. I love it. Um, beautiful. The like behind the scenes vet and animal center. Nice. It looks very nice. Yeah. And some statues and a little parking lot. So is this like? Oh yeah. So people can see like the this area with the statues. I was like, is that just for like? Yeah, it's like... The oh. vets and stuff. Like, oh, that's some nice statues. You're really thinking of employee morale when you have that. Yeah. I'm more so about yeah. this just as, like, kind of a... I don't, I don't know how much I like this here anymore, but... Um, have it kind of to break up the, the view from the yeah. staff lounge. And then, of course, last time we were in the zoo... Back's out back. Yeah. So we got... Yeah, this is your first time seeing this too, but we have a little this is awesome. indoor area. This actually kind of reminds me of the biodome. And there we have our, our albino koala Xavier. Nice. Uh, yeah. Turned out pretty good. Oh, how do, like, how does this stay warm enough? Like, oh, did, did you just like litter it with stuff? Yeah, or there, like, there's like a building. there's like heaters. So it's actually okay. it's actually weird. So the way shelters work in this game is in cold weather they're warmer than the outside, and in warm weather they're colder. They're colder. And okay. At zero degrees, it still makes it colder. Oh, okay. So <laughs> it's like only if it's in the negatives does it go warmer. But yeah, there's a few heaters scattered about. I had to put heaters like in the ceiling, like up there. Because the koalas would climb the tree and they'd be too cold. Because oh. like all the other heaters, I'll give you a little tip for what I do to hide heaters because they're ugly. I make like a group of objects. See like all these platforms, like these shaded yeah. areas. So like there's a heater on each one of those and then I sink it below the ground. And then so I can still access it. I just have like a little rock <laughs> and I can click to <laughs> access it. Um, That's pretty smart. That's pretty smart. Yeah. 
So I saw some koalas and a kangaroo. Is that all that's in Jack's outback? Uh, and then we have some like smaller exhibit animals. So we have uh, the, the giant cockroaches, blue tongue skinks. Man, Australia shouldn't exist. Giant cockroaches. What did they do over there? How did they get all the weirdest animals? Do you want the real answer? Yes. Mil millions of years of isolation from the other continents allowed a lot of niches to open up and the few animals that were there were able to just rapidly Decide diversify. to get like crazy? Yeah. Like, don't they have the wolf spider? I mean, we have wolf spiders, but they have like bigger spiders. Scarier spiders? Ah. Uh, yeah, you said you wanted to add otters to the zoo and you were very disappointed. That oh, did Jeff Bezos come in here? Oh, because Amazon. Because <laughs> they're from the Amazon. Uh, we didn't have any river otters, to your disappointment, but we have giant otters. That's like the same thing. Yeah, that, so yeah. you can see, like, I've already started, like, the, the temple ruin vibes. Because this would take... I like it. You would lose interest in all the little nitpicky little details it takes to make a building like this. It's like a thousand pieces. Uh, I, just, I just come in at the end and be like, wow, neat. <laughs> What do you think of so the did, golden How did you make that? This? Like, is that a pre-designed thing? Or yeah, so, like, like, the otter is, like, a pre-designed item. And then, like, all these gold pieces are, too. Oh, so you just, like, stuck it on. Oh, okay, yeah. okay. Yeah, that's awesome. I like that. That's pretty cool. Yeah, so, and that's where, like, I guess the educator talk is going to be. But, yeah, here is going to be the exhibit itself, so... You can see when the guests come in, they're gonna like have a nice view of the water. Cause you know, that's like the classic otter exhibit, like having the- The like halfway, yeah, yeah. And the swimming, and then they can come up to the higher level and see them on land. Are you, like what else do you need to give the otters? Like other than water and sand, are you gonna give them like a hut and everything? Oh yeah, well like... the, I'm gonna put like a glass roof over it when we're done. I just left it yeah. open so we can work on it. Uh, but I will, Pause the recording and we will get into the speed build.
right, so there's the next exhibit done for the Stubtoe Zoo, the Amazon Riverside. Yeah. Once again, nice of Jeff Bezos to, uh, you know, stop by, give us some inspiration. It's a shame he couldn't stick around for this part, though. Yeah. You know, busy yeah. man, busy man. Had to had to go bust another union. Uh, you know, that's it's what he does. It's the life, you know. Oh yeah. So it's hard, I guess. You know, uh, managing that many people it must be so difficult. I think know? I but, think he actually had to go meet up with Leonardo. I think they had like a bit of a disagreement recently. Oh did oh did they? Oh yeah. interesting. Uh, but don't know what that's about. Um, but yes, yeah, it's cool of him to like you know stop by and everything. Like busy schedule, it's nice of him to stop by. On but to uh, yeah, the exhibit we have uh, some golden frogs and we have a creature escape. We'll deal with that in a second. <laughs> but that's have... normal at the Stub Toe Zoo. It's not like they can go far. It's freezing outside. Yeah, and then we have a uh, green iguana. Then we have a uh, boa constrictor, right up against the glass there. And the bird eater spider somewhere in here. Somewhere. Just, you know. Somewhere. What if he escaped? No, it wouldn't be one of them. I, they don't. I don't know. Um, yeah, but then we have the otters to get nice underwater viewing for them. There they are. Oh, there they are. Look at them go. This is like the classic like otter exhibit where it's like the the water level just up to your eyes and then get yeah i can see. really see otter in there boo <laughs> uh, so the temple falling apart a little bit needs some construction as you can see it's an old it's ancient actually this uh temple was here when we got here we didn't actually build this yeah we just retrofitted it exactly exactly uh but here it's, it's pretty impressive a little bit of the on-land view. Perfect timing. The otter going on land for us. Very cooperative. Then we have where the keeper talk is. Hopefully no one hops over. Little kid, jump for it. Be <laughs> one with the otters. Be free. Live your best otter life. So. Boo. <laughs> Coming right up to the exhibit gate. And then, of course, we have... The Otter Shrine. Also oh. here when we first got here, so obviously they like otters in this northern Arctic yeah. temple. <laughs> it's amazing that these uh, these otters are actually probably still the same otters. These yeah. otters are extraordinarily long lived. There is some there is some writing about a curse or something about unearthing the otters, but I'm sure we're fine. Oh look, he's yeah, demonstrating the rock structure you wanted for them. <laughs> I, he's like showing it off for us, you know, he's just giving us a little house demonstrating tour. It Running us. through the bushes, also like you said you could envision. Oh, did you get to play with a box? Hold on, hold on. This might be a key moment in history. Legend says this is the first time in like 10,000 years nope. the otters touched the box. He didn't go in it though, he's so bored. Legend is still waiting. He's bored of it. He's more interested in this bush. Going for oh, is he going to the mud pit? Okay. Having some fun. Okay, never mind. Also, why is the rubber duck like on its side? It's had a rough day. Nah. <laughs> Life of a duck, you know. Yep. But yeah. Just supposed to be relaxing in the tub. Much. You thought everything was going to be all right. Much different than the first otter exhibit I built. Oh, on top of the rhubarb. How to, how to do that? Anyways. Yeah. Anyways. Are you happy with how it oh. turned out? I'm pretty happy. This is pretty pretty awesome. I mean, it was pretty nice. All we really did oh, was like, he's, he's, what, add some heaters? It was pretty cold when we got here. Yep. There's, he, he's popping out of the, the water ice and just like you envisioned. Oh, it's so beautiful. Do you think this is what the ancient peoples who built this place thought? Possibly. Like, look at that. Like... They're, these ancient peoples are clearly like next level like beings. Look at them. Another animal escape. <laughs> <laughs> oh. It's a damn it's a damn bird spider. Anyways. Remember kids. Remember kids, don't have balloons. They're bad for the environment. We're just we we need to recoup yeah. our losses from the animal escaping, so we need to uh, drive up balloon sales. 
Ah. It's too fun to do that. I'm a bit of a bully. Anyways, I think that's going to wrap it up for this episode. <laughs> it's weird because Liam literally does that in uh, at Real Zoos. He just goes around and pops kids' balloons. Yeah. He always keeps... He always keeps this thing. It's weird. He always has this like specific needle for it. He's like, "This is my zoo balloon popping." I've, I've upgraded recently too. Now I. Uh, oh, did you? Yeah. N I, now it's taped to the end of a meter stick. So, oh, you crafty devil! So I can like pop it from from farther away. <laughs> uh, but yeah. I think it's I, another successful zoo. Another successful. Also, is he zoo. going through the ground there? Yeah, there's a little bit of clipping there. Just, just a little <laughs> But you can see they're pretty popular. Look at all these people. My favorite part still is like when we enter, seeing all the people shivering before yeah. they come in. So see like out here. Dude's like <laughs> in shorts and a t-shirt. <laughs> You're swole, you can't be cold. And, and the girl with us is like, oh, see, I told you you should have wore your, your puffy vest. Oh, never mind, she's cold too. Never mind, sweetie. I thought it'd be fine. It was only like negative twenty outside. <laughs> All right, I'm cutting it off. See you in the Jeffrey next one. Bezos. Have a good day. Bye bye now. <laughs>